Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 23rd of 2024 is titled Deep Nebulas from Seagull to California. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the region around Orion. And can you see Orion there centered a little bit to the left of center and toward the bottom of the image? And can you pick out the details of Orion? And that's very difficult because of all the nebulae that happen to be visible within the image. So let's take a closer look and label some of these. And we can see now there we can see the stars of Orion outlining Orion's belt, which is right above where it says Horsehead Nebula down below. And of course, also in that region is the Horsehead Nebula, a dark nebula, which has the shape of the head of a horse, as you might expect from its name. Down below that, the Orion Nebula, a large star forming region. And we can see above the two upper stars, Betelgeuse and Bellatrix, in the constellation of Orion, as well as the lower two stars, Safe and Rigel, that are both present there as well. However, in this whole region of the sky around Orion and extending out into nearby constellations, we can see a lot of other nebulae as well. In fact, starting from the lower left hand corner, just barely visible there, the Seagull Nebula and going all the way up to the upper right with the California Nebula. So we see a number of different ones and you can see all of them labeled here. Many of these are what we call emission nebulae. Now emission nebulae are generally around star forming regions where hot stars have formed. Those stars emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which then excite the gases around them and cause them to glow. So this whole area is a big region of star formation and that's why we see all these nebulae here. Now, why do we not see them when we look at the sky ourselves at night? Well, they're just not bright enough for our eyes to be able to pick them up. You need a little more, you need a little uh, more detail, a little more time to be able to expose them. And in fact, to bring out all of the detail we see here, we have a total of 28 images taken and put together here. And that includes a total of 800 hours of exposures to bring out all of the detail that we see in many of these nebulae in our image today. Now, of course, the nebulae aren't the only thing present here. We also see some stars. And if you see, we saw the California Nebula toward the upper right hand side and down below that a little bit and almost off almost to the right edge of the image is the Pleiades star cluster. And we see that in addition, we also see the bright star Aldebaran in the constellation of Taurus, a little below the Pleiades and to the left down below there. And that's a very bright, a relatively bright star uh, in the head of the bull of the constellation of Taurus. So we see a number of different things. We see a number of different stars here, which of course do not stand out near as much as we've discussed when we see all of the nebulae as well that are prominent in this region. And if you think back over the past year or two, we have seen a lot of images of these individual nebulae as well. We've seen things like the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula and the Rosette Nebula. And we've seen detailed images of these of each of these and now we kind of get to put all of that into perspective by seeing them all at once. So that was our picture of the day for January 23rd of 2024. It was titled Deep Nebulas from Seagull to California. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be you are here. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.